All right, I've got a green light case unboxing. This is the Barrett Jackson Scottsdale Edition Series 10. So Barrett Jackson Auctions, the Scottsdale Edition right here. Series 10 for Barrett Jackson with green light. This one's gonna feature some of the top selling models from the Barrett Jackson Auctions, Auto Auctions. So you're always gonna see some really nice cars. And first up, we have a 2020 Chevrolet Corvette convertible in white. There it's got, looks like maybe yellow or tan seats. And there you see the actual real life vehicle there on the card art. And then on the back, it usually gives you a little history and tells you about what it sold for. So that one sold for $165,000 with no reserve from Scottsdale 2021. So it's a really cool series where they put the actual picture of the real car there and give a little bit of history on it too. Next one up in the set, it's a 1963 Chevrolet Impala SS409 convertible. This one's blue, it's got blue chrome wheels, and you see that the real life version does as well. No top up on that one, but this one does have the cloth top pulled over on it. Looks like blue seats in there and interior. And there's the real thing on the back. That one sold for 91300 so these are all from the Scottsdale 2021 auction. Next one up, it's a 1970 Dodge Charger Hemi RT. And there's the, there's the real life version there. Beautiful Dodge Charger. The black stripes on the hood. And there's the back. That one sold for 93,500. Oh, well, then we've got a 1967 Ford Bronco custom SUV. Bright orange custom Ford Bronco. Lifted. That is a beautiful Ford Bronco. Broncos have been so hot lately, people with the new Broncos coming out that looks so much like the old ones the new retro Broncos have really kind of brought back a revival of the original Bronco and there it is on the back that one sold for 121,000 Next one, we've got a 1969 Chevrolet Camaro Z28. This one in green. This is not a green machine, though. That is the actual color of the one up there. I do find it curious that this one has tampos on the side. And the one on the card art does not. It's a 1969 Camaro Z28. That one sold for $156,200. Uh, no graphics on the side of the real thing there. So I'm kind of wondering why they had it on that one. Maybe the, maybe the writing on the back would explain that better, but I'm not going to read all of that during the course of the video. Next and last, we've got a 1955 Chevrolet Handyman Custom Wagon in orange. That's a really cool 55 Chevy wagon. Customized, it's got the silver pinstriping. Silver roof as well. And there's the real thing, oh that real one, that's nice. The real one looks like it's dropped a little bit lower. Uh, than the die-cast version. I wish they had dropped this one all the way. Oh, there you see it on the back. It looks really good on the back. You see how it's dropped. That would be my one complaint about this one. 
They, they missed out on an opportunity there. I think they have their standard castings to kind of go with. Uh, so it looks like out of the ones we've looked at, 176,000, this probably went for the most. That is really cool. I like the real life version better than the die cast version on that particular one. Um, the Ford Bronco, I think that's my favorite out of this one. I'm not always just like a huge Bronco guy, but I really do like that orange Bronco. It looks nice. And uh, that 1970 Dodge Charger Hemi is another one that is hard to beat. So what did you think was your favorite out of these? I uh, would love to hear your, your thoughts. Leave them down in the comments. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want to see more diecast as Hall's Guide brings you the biggest variety in diecast on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Thank you.